the edge of our hope. At the end of our time, we have chosen to believe in each other. Today we face the monsters that are at our door. Today we are canceling the apocalypse! This is no longer a battle. It's a slow, painful surrender. And we can't surrender. These creatures coming out of the ocean, whose intent is to ruin the human race. I am aware those are my rangers that die every time a Jaeger falls. Where you meet us in this story, it really is the 11th hour. The kaiju war has been waging for about 20 years, and we're really starting to realize that we're losing. So in response to that, we create these giant Jaegers. Initiating launch operations. Prepare for neural handshake. Initiating neural handshake? Two pilots engaged in neural bridge. And let's go fishing. There are two great genres. One is the giant monster movie, the kaiju movie. And the other one is the giant robot movie. In terms of spectacle and size, is a movie that encompasses both of those subgenres. It's going to feel like a very gritty, real exploration of what it would be like if we found ourselves under attack. Where would you rather die? Here or in a Jaeger? I wanted this movie to not be about a country saving the world. I wanted it to be the world saving the world. But we have Charlie Hunnam as the lead, a guy that has been struck by tragedy. He has something enormous to prove. Thank you. This is Marco Mori, one of our brightest. She wants revenge for losing her family. She wants to fight. She wants to be a part of the resistance. Idris Elba. And he is the moral center of the movie. The last man standing. My guy's a little more rock and roll and resents the nerdy scientist stereotype. If you want to stop them, you have to understand them. You have a real story with interesting characters that you're going to follow. It's punctuated once in a while with these giant, spectacular set pieces of robots fighting monsters. to made it a movie that resurrected a spirit that I don't think exists in movies these days. The sense of not of a war movie, but an adventure movie. It's gonna be unlike anything you've ever seen before. Pacific Rim.